Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard. I am Penge and today we are going to take another look at the Steam Summer Sale 2018. We are going to revisit the sale because on the previous video I made on the 22nd of June, just after it started, I was guided by the highlighted deals that Steam have generated for me. So they generate these deals, it's based on preferences, it's based on the games you've played and the things you like and the things that are on your wish list and all that. So we had a look through what Steam thought I might be interested in and there were a few things on there that we sort of looked at and said yeah that's probably worth a look at and it's you know fairly cheap and it's on offer for this much and that was that. The video went out and it was kind of done. But then when it had been out a little while people started commenting saying okay yeah interesting but you didn't mention such and such was in the sale or you didn't mention that this and that and the other was 50% off or whatever. So what I've done is today we're going to entirely ignore the highlighted deals of Steam because I have gone through it. So we're going to have the penge highlights. We're going to have the penge highlights of games that either I think are interesting or that are a good deal or of things that we have played in the Geek Cupboard and that other people have played as well obviously and that you might have seen and thought you yeah, know that's good but I'll wait off until it's on the sale and it might now be in the sale. So things that we've played or things that I might find quite interesting. So first up, first up, is a big old favourite. It's very, very good. Fallout. Pretty much all the series. In fact, I'm saying pretty much. I think it is all of the series. <laughs> yep, it seems to be all of the Fallout series. And obviously this one here does not have an offer on. That's because it's free. Because <laughs> Fallout Shelter is free to play. You buy sort of in-game packs and stuff. But let's have a look. Fallout 4, 50% off. That's tremendous. Now the prices, I'm not going to kind of go through and quote the prices and stuff, and your deals might be slightly different depending on where you are in the world, because I think what they do is they sometimes round things down to make them a nice number. But um, yeah, 50% off for Fallout 4, that's very good, so Fallout 4 is in the sale. Fallout New Vegas is brilliant. It's coming up to being eight years old, which is a little bit terrifying to be perfectly honest. 67% off. 67%. That's brilliant. Fallout 1, 75% off. Fallout 2, 75%. Fallout Tactics, we won't talk about that. Fallout 4 VR is a bit more expensive, but that's kind of understandable. It's relatively new and it's VR. I think VR games sort of just get bumped up on just by virtue of them being VR games. Fallout 3, 50% off. And then all the DLCs and stuff. All the DLCs are on offer as well. Like um, Far Harbor. I would say Far Harbor is the essential, the, the best. I would say, you know, we can argue it if you like, but I would say it's the best DLC for um, Fallout 4. That's 40% off. 40% off is brilliant. So if you want to go and get Fallout, if you want to stock up on some of the DLCs and stuff, now is probably the time because everything is on offer. And it's Fallout. It's a tremendous game series and I like Fallout a lot. Another tremendous game series is Deus Ex. Five games in this collection. So five Deus games. That's all of them. Can I just point out all the Deus games? 88% off. This is ludicrous. <laughs> what a ludicrous, what a ludicrous offer. So in the UK, that's £7.79. £7.79 for five games. So you get the original Deus. Yes, it's old. Yes, it looks a bit wibbly, but it's still tremendous. It's a really, really good game. One of my favourite games of all time, if not the favourite game of all time. Invisible War sequel, yeah, it's all right. It's pretty good. It's not quite as good as that one. It's not quite as good as the original. The Fall, we probably won't mention that. It was kind of made for mobile devices and then they put it onto a PC and it didn't really work. It's not particularly great. Um, Human Revolution Director's Cut is fantastic. That is a great game. That is a great, great game. And, you know, 85% off if you just wanted to buy that on its own. 85% uh, in the UK is not even £2. <laughs> you, you couldn't buy a pint. Well, you probably could have somewhere. But, you know, in London, certainly, you struggle to buy a pint for that. That's a whole game. So that's tremendous. And then uh, Mankind Divided is the new one. Now, I've not played this. I should do. But it comes with the season pass. It's all cheap. It's 85% off for the actual game. And the season pass is 75% off if you just wanted to buy that on its own. But the whole bundle, five games, £7.79, 88% off. That is brilliant. And Deus Ex games are very, very good indeed. So, um, yeah, that's tremendous. That is well <laughs> that is well worth looking at. If you want some good sort of uh, action-y, stealthy kind of role-play games, that is certainly worth your attention because eight. 8% off is definitely, it's got to be one of the higher, one of the higher sort of uh, discounts in the store, got to be. What else is coming up? Farm Manager, hooray, of course, a geek of a kind of current favourite, 25% off, 25% off, not to be sniffed at, Farm Manager was away from the uh, Steam store for a while, now it's back, so um, yep, go and pick that up if you like Farm Manager. Civ 6. Civilization 6 and all its bundles, it seems, are in the sale. So uh, Civ 6 itself is 60% off. So that's very, very good. However, I would say now that you probably do want Rise and Fall with it. 
you would want that with it to sort of enhance the main game to you know add all the extra features and stuff that rise and fall gives you like loyalty and stuff which is relevant to us at the minute and that's only 25 percent off so it's not got as much of a bargain as the actual base game itself but i would say you probably want them both so uh, yeah, if you're thinking of getting Civ 6, now is probably a good time because I imagine the next time they're going to come down in price is probably going to be, what, autumn slash fall or even maybe Christmas. Might be Christmas time. And yeah, they'll be cheaper then, but obviously you won't have been able to play them for six months. So um, yeah, 60% is pretty good for the base game. 25% for Rise and Fall. And then all the little packs or the add-on packs are you know discounted as well. They're very good. They've got a thumbs down because I think people are a bit miffed at the original cost. So, for example, if you wanted the Australia Civilization and a scenario, it would have cost £4.49 in the UK, which is relatively expensive for just one civilization and a, and a sort of a scenario pack thing. So the fact they've reduced it down a bit is good, but that's why they've got sort of thumbs down things there. And I can sort of understand that because that is a little bit, it's a little bit steep for one civilization and one scenario. But there we go. So they're all on offer as well. If you want to pick those up. What's next? Talisman is 70% off. I played this with Dave. Dave at wee hours, and um, it was tremendous fun. And the fact that it's now 70% off, the digital edition is 70% off. So in the UK, it's £1.73, which is just tremendous. So um, yeah, Talisman, well worth going to pick it up. Some good board gaming going on there. Uh, this is Epic Tavern. Oh, Epic Tavern. I miss playing Epic Tavern. This was sort of our early 2018 game. We did this on Saturday nights. It was lovely. I did enjoy Epic Tavern, and it's 25% off. So if you want to go and play Epic Tavern, if you want to go and pick it up and support the team that are making it, they're all very excellent people, 25% off. So go and have a little look at that if you want to go and get Epic Tavern. Next up, we'll clear that off a thing at the top, clear off Airport CEO. Airport CEO is 30% off. We played this pretty much on the day it came out, I think, in the Geek Cupboard. And as it stands right now, as I record this, an Airport CEO video is the most watched video in the Geek Cup, but it's the baggage handling tutorial video. So um, yeah, there we go. Airport CEO has done me well. It's done the channel well. And then, yeah, it's a good game. It's a great game. And I think there's a lot more to it now. There's a lot of customization and stuff going on. There's a lot more in-depth sort of planning and all that kind of stuff than from when I last played it, which was a little while ago now. So yeah, 30% off. That is no bad thing. That is a very good deal indeed for that game. Next up, House Flipper. Oh, I did enjoy House Flipper. I was terrible. But if you've ever dreamed of renovating a room like this and putting things in bins and mopping floors and painting walls and hanging up lights, then um, yeah, House Flipper is probably for you. And it's 20% off. So it's not that much of a bargain because I think it's fairly new. 17th of May. Yes, yeah, so it's not been out that long. Oh, just over a month and a bit. Um, so that's why the discount isn't probably as high as other things. But still, 20% off. It's a good game. It's kind of current. It's fun. It's very, very good. If that's kind of your thing, if you like decorating and kind of nice, so, you know, tidying up stuff, then um, yeah, give that a go. 20% off. Next up is Frostpunk. I love Frostpunk. <laughs> Tremendous. Again, it's relatively new and it's a fairly big... It's a fairly big game. I imagine there was a big budget behind it because it's very well polished and very well presented. It's very slick. So only 15% off. But you know what? It's better than no percent off. I, I can't recommend it enough. I love Frostpunk. I, I can play again, 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 again. So um yeah, 15% off. If that's your kind of thing, go and grab it. And then in a similar vein to that, so this is this is this is surviving on Earth in the freezing cold. This is surviving on Mars in probably the boiling hot. I guess it's really hot on Mars. Um surviving Mars is 30% off. So 30% off for Surviving Mars, and there's various editions and stuff. Uh, I had fun in that, in the Geek Cupboard. I had fun. I, I'll admit, I wasn't the best at it. <laughs> I think people who watched it will agree. But um, yeah, so 30% off if you want to go and pick up Surviving Mars. That's very good. Next up is Stellaris. Now, I've not played Stellaris on the channel. I do own it, and I've played it a bit. I've not played it as much as I would like, but it's very, very good. If only for the soundtrack. The soundtrack is tremendous, but the actual gameplay is brilliant as well. It's very, very good. Big space grand sort of 4X strategy thing. 60% off. Really good deal. And then all the DLC packs pretty much have got some sort of deal with them, so you can, you know, you can pick the ones you like and go and top up your base game with all the different packs and things. So, yeah. If you want a space sort of space strategy 4x thing stellaris is 60 percent off that's very very good and here we go look prison architect prison architect is 75 percent off i mean i i got it at full price which is a bit annoying but there we go so 75 percent off that is very good for prison architect that's very very good indeed so that's not to be sniffed at if you want a prison architect you can go pick it up now for not very much at all also 911 operator is 50 percent off 
And that was very good. I liked that when we played that in the Geek Cupboard. And yeah, there's a collector's edition here with the various DLC things. That's 60% off if you want to top it up with the two DLCs. So yeah, 911 Operator is also in the uh, Steam Summer Sale. What's that? Just one line. Just one line is tremendous. It's a great game. The art style, the story, sort of choices and stuff. It's really, really good. I would recommend it. 20% off, which is not as high as other things, but it's not very expensive anyway. The actual initial price is not that much. So 20% off is a quite nice little discount on it. And um, yeah, not to be sniffed at. Nice fantasy sort of role-playing game, sort of choose your own adventure type thing with some lovely graphics and some... It's very well written and it's very, very good. So yeah, I would recommend just one line. I would also recommend Project High Rise. Of course I would. We played this a lot in the early days of the channel and it was great. Well, it still is great. Uh, so yeah, Project High Rise, the base game is 65% off. There's a bundle there, which I assume includes some of the DLCs. That's 64% off. Uh, but yeah, if you are going to get Project High Rise, I would recommend also getting the Las Vegas DLC, just because it adds on the um, it adds on hotel rooms. So Project High Rise allows you to put a tower, which is offices and apartments. Las Vegas adds it to sort of a hotel, so it lets you have hotel facilities as well. But yeah, 65% off for most of these things, so that is very, very good. Uh, far loan sales I just put that in because it was brilliant it was brilliant when I played it it looked good it sounded good it was tremendous had a great atmosphere it was beautiful it's 20% off if you enjoyed that if you enjoyed uh, you know either me or other people playing it then um yeah go and pick it up 20% off well worth it this is the bridge constructor series of games there is there's quite a lot there's quite a lot of them but uh, I play bridge constructor portal which is 20% off, but all the other ones are 20% off as well. So the medieval one, the original one, there's a stunts one just here. They're all 20% off. Also Poly Bridge, which is a bridge building thing in a kind of similar vein, is 70% off, which is uh, quite a lot compared to the other ones. But um, I mean, yeah, Bridge Constructor Portal, it's got GLaDOS in, which makes it better than the others, I would say, just because, because GLaDOS and because humour, because it has a big hearty uh, sort of dollop of humour thrown in because it's Portal, and that's kind of what Portal does. So um, yeah, if you like bridge building, probably a good time to go to Steam and stock up on some bridge building games. Next up, yeah, First Strike Final Hour. This was fun. I enjoyed playing this in the Geek Cupboard. Big old nuclear weapons, shooting at each other, planes, bombs, all that kind of stuff. It was crazy. It was good fun. And um, it's 50% off. So if you enjoyed that, go and pick that up. Flashpoint Fire Rescue, another one that we played relatively recently in the Geek Cupboard, based on a board game. It's good. It's really good. I enjoyed playing that game, even though I probably wasn't the best at it. I mean, we had a few false starts. We had a few kind of horrible house explosions and a few corpses. But in the end, we got there and we kind of got round it and we played it. And it was good fun. It was very, very good fun indeed. So, um, yep, that's 30% off. So that's quite a good uh, quite a good saving on that. And the last one. The last one is something that I've not played. I've never played this. But Warhammer. Total War Warhammer and Total War Warhammer 2 are both on offer. Total War Warhammer, the original, so the first one, is 75% off. And Total War Warhammer 2, which is relatively new, I mean, yeah, okay, it's coming up to maybe a year old-ish, is 25% off. And uh, the DLC, some of the DLCs have got various sort of deals and stuff on. That's, that's very good. That's a very good deal, particularly Total War Warhammer, 75% off. Because weirdly enough, in the UK, certainly, uh, Total War Warhammer and 2 were both originally the same price. But now, obviously, Total War Warhammer is significantly cheaper than the uh, sequel. So, um, yeah, I just threw them in because I thought they were a good price. So I've seen other people playing them. I've watched many a true nerd play them both through at various points on his channel. And I thought, yeah, they're good. I like them. So I thought I'd throw them in in case you're interested. And you know what? That is it. That is it for our little look through what I thought might be interesting rather than what Steam was trying to tell me was interesting. Kind of I went through and picked out certain things and looked at games I played and other things that I might like. And that was kind of what I came up with. So hopefully you did enjoy that. And hopefully there's been at least something in there that you might have thought, oh, I don't know that was on the offer. I might go and check that out. I might invest in that because I've been waiting for that to come out for ages or whatever. So yes, hopefully that was of some use or it was interesting. If it was, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to the Geek Cupboard to keep up to date with all the stuff that we get up to. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. He's gone down the lift sooner than they're not built. The lifts aren't finished. People, people, this is very dangerous. Martin said it's fine and gave me a negative review. You silly man, Martin. You've clicked the wrong button. It looked like he had no trousers on, which was a little bit strange. Oh, Linda, with your gleaming golden words of appreciation. Linda says, eh, okay, hotel. <laughs>